Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRodeAutomation.com and welcome to another video for Test Project video series. In this video, we'll be talking about Test Project's Artificial Intelligence Explained. So Test Project has got AI for pretty long time right now. I mean, Test Project is the first ever free tool which has AI capabilities built in to offer community a rich, flakiless automation testing experience. And Test Project AI offers not just self-healing as an option to reduce flaky test, but it also offers additional AI capabilities such as adaptive weight and automation assistance. So this is the first ever tool, as I told on the industry, the tool for the free usage, which no other tool provide at the moment. Again, to understand this AI capability, we need to just understand the capability in a much detailed fashion, as you can see over here. Well. The adaptive weight, as you can see over here, is nothing but waiting for any async event in your application to happen and your application's UI is quite slow or something like that, then this adaptive weight plays a critical role. So it waits for a certain amount of time within your test. So that is an adaptive weight. So if your application loads pretty quickly, then the test passes and the step passes and then it keep moving to the next step. And it can be something used in many situations like async event, as I told you, application slowness or internet speed, things of that nature. And then comes the auto healing. And this is where the test project's AI comes in a lot more, like how it can handle an application's UI if the application's UI element changes or the ID changes or if there is any dynamic IDs or ID which has got a long identifier all those things are automatically being healed if they are changing in test project much, much easily. So that's one of the other capability that test project has got. And this was the first capability test project released while the AI was actually being released. And then subsequently the other two capabilities like adaptive weight and automation assistant was released. Well, the automation assistant is actually a very, very nice little feature which is added on the top of the self-healing is by fixing the flaky application test and also helping you tell that if the test passes and if there is a false positive action then the flaky test will actually help you fix that and that is the major advantage of having this automation assistant and the test project ai as you know is currently being supported in both web and mobile apps. So that is really, really cool. So if you're going to automate any of the browser based app, the AI is supported. And similarly, if you're going to be automating a mobile app, let's say Android and iOS, it's also being supported. So all the three capabilities that we just discussed, like self healing, automation assistant and adaptive weight are all supported in both these two platforms, which is quite cool. And again, if you want to see AI in action, you might be seeing the AI starting to play even without you noticing it in many of these windows. As you can see, it will have a self healing symbol over here on the report. If it is healing some of the UI element and you will also get a suggestion that your test actually got failed in one of the place like an identifier. And then it will suggest you that you can use this identifier instead of the wrong identifier, something like this. And also, and also the automation assistant, as I told you, is something that you can actually see from the project setting as you can see over here. And you can also change the adaptive weight from minimal to normal to patient and very patient, something like that. So all these things you can control from just one single place, at least in the project setting side, but you can actually see that the AI capabilities is completely unified and it's available on the test recorder out of the box. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to my test project platform. So this is the test project platform where I'm going to create a new test. And this time I'm going to be choosing a web test where I'm going to call this as PB test web. So I'm going to be automating a uh, e-commerce website and I'm going to hit next and I'm going to choose the application, which is going to be a PB tech website. So I'm just going to search for PB tech. So this is a website available in New Zealand, which is selling all the electronic products and things. So I'm just going to automate this app 
And you can see that when I try to do the recording, there is an addition option called as file and cloud. And this was something new, which is recently added in press project platform. We'll be talking about that later point of time. But as of now, I'm just gonna choose cloud and then I'm gonna hit the start recording option. And you can see that the application is currently loaded in the test project along with the recorder. And I'm just gonna minimize this over here and I'm gonna start performing certain actions. So I'm just gonna select this brand I'm gonna choose Samsung. I'm gonna choose buy now. I'm just gonna probably choose the Samsung Galaxy S21. And I'm gonna hit this add to cart. I'm gonna proceed to checkout. I'm just gonna verify if this particular text is contained over there. I'm also gonna verify if the shopping cart is actually available. So I'm just gonna add the validation contains text, which is quite cool. I'm also gonna verify if there is a proceed checkout. So you can see that it's so cool that I can easily do all these things by just hitting double shift. And you can see that all of them are added currently. Let's try to run this test. You can see that it's currently performing the same action that we just told, and it is just working as expected. So all these operations that we could see that it is all working fine without any problem for us, which is pretty cool. And now that, as I told you, we have the automation assistant by default enabled for our test. So if we click this test tab, you can see that the automation assistant is available for us. We can turn it off anytime if you want to, which is not quite recommended. And we can also change the adaptive weight to patient and very patient, something like that. So based on the changes that we make, it is gonna perform the action for us. So let's say I'm gonna choose this to minimal. I'm gonna just hit save. And if I go to the steps over here, and if I try to change some of the identifiers of this particular step, probably I'm just gonna change this step to just modify something like a Samsung Galaxy uh, instead of two years warranty to something like that. I'm just gonna remove it uh, and I'm just gonna hit save. And if I try to do a run this time, you could see that the self-healing was just started. And then it also showed us that this particular text that we just changed or modified actually is not available. Rather, the test project has found a better way to locate this particular element using this double slash TD of two slash A1, which is looking more promising because this guy looks kind of broken because this particular text doesn't really exist as we have broken it already. So if we do a confirm right now, test projects AI will automatically map that particular identifier for us as the top and it puts down the initial identifier to the second place because it knows that the initial identifier was kind of flaky. So it has reduced that flakiness for us. This is another way that we could use the test projects AI in a better way to reduce our flaky test and keep working with our existing test. And this is a great advantage of having a AI capability for us. And we can also see that with the AI capability, we can get the same experience even in our reporting while we try to run this particular test. For example, if I just stop this particular test execution and if I try running it from here, let's say on the Chrome browser, and if we go to the report this time, you could see that there was actually a problem happened with the add to cart, which we don't even know that it has actually happened because the web actually took a bit of additional time while it tried to show the add to cart button and automatically the self healing of test project came into picture and it tried resolving that problem for us. So these are the things which automatically happen for us when it tried to resolve things and it tried to fix things for us behind the scene when a test project noticed some of the slow loading or flaky UI in our application. So this is how the artificial intelligence of test project actually works. And it does exactly the same thing what it is mentioned on the recorder and it helps us reduce the flaky test as much as possible.
So that's it guys, once again, thank you very much for watching this video and hope you really like using AI capability in test project.